All right. So one of the you know many mistakes that we artists often do, especially with beginners, is that <laughs> you would draw this one really really perfect eye, and then the other one is like really ugly <laughs> and cranky. So. The I'm <clears throat> sorry. <laughs> the solution for this is really easy, and I think it's pretty obvious. Is that when you want to draw both eyes, then you're supposed to do it at the same time. Uh, well, not <laughs> literally at the same time, but you have to do it continuously, exchanging from one part to the other part instead of, you know, finishing this one eye really detailed in detailed and. You finish everything so perfectly, and then you start with the other one. If you do that, then stop it because you are going to have, uh, well, you might as well know what will happen. So yeah, you know, before you ever paint eyes, drawing is really important. Unless you already have your own style that you want to just immediately. Uh, paint something by choosing colors and block all the colors on the canvas. If that is your uh, painting process, then well, that that is okay. But with me, with me personally, and I think most of um, most people is that we like to start with a clean, at least a clear, you know, sketch first, so that we can be sure how it's supposed to look like when we want to paint it. Because if you have a really messy and anatomically, or you know, wrong or at least this uh, distorted, I, th I think yeah, that's the word, kind of sketch, then you might as well going to spend. An hour or two hours, not painting but fixing mistakes while already painting everything, which that would be a pain in the ass. So first, what? Uh, oh yeah, before I start, I would also like to just remind you that this is my personal way of drawing eyes. Know that each of us have our own style, and especially there are many kinds of eyes. There are really, uh, you know, big. Um, round kind of eyes, and there are eyes like Asian eyes and many other kinds of eyes. So I just want to tell you, just to remind you that that this is not the way how you're supposed to draw eyes. It's just the tips of, you know, just little mini tutorial and tips and advice, but not in any way how to draw the eyes itself. So first, you can start with. Um, just you know a circle because you know it's the eyeball and then we draw the eyelids like so and also know that I am pa uh, not painting I am drawing the eye completely from the front angle so this is not from the side or not from a quarter kind of view this is completely from the front because if I draw it from a different angle that would be a whole different tutorial and um, it would be you know a bit it is a more difficult way to to explain so I just draw the eye and then I draw in the eyelids like so and then it is okay for you to duplicate the layer for the other eye and just flip it horizontally it is okay for you to do this just remember don't paint in uh, not sorry don't draw in the pupils yet because if you draw the pupils and then you copy paste and flip it horizontally then uh, both of these pupils will not have the exact you know same view it will look kind of off and yeah you know you don't want that so we can first start with this and then remember that the distance between both eyes is one eye of itself so if you want to be exactly sure you can just draw a line like like this and then you go oops okay and then you go around over here to just kind of measure it up around here so yeah this is usually the distance between two eyes this is where the nose bridge is so again what I would like to do is I'm just going to erase some of this um, mess just a little bit and then now I would draw in the pupils 
it doesn't have to be um, neat it doesn't have to be neat what matters is that at least it looks you know quite perfectly not perfectly fine but it looks okay and then I'm going to erase this a bit it was a bit messy and now draw in the waterline around here and around Just like so. It doesn't have to be neat because we're going to, you know, edit everything again on another new layer. And this is the eyelids. Goes around like so. Okay, I think my Photoshop is being a bit laggy. I might as well have to restart. Okay, so like so that just a little bit okay so I just restarted my Photoshop because it was lagging a bit and um, yeah it would be really annoying all right so now we are back here um, I'm just going to erase some bits of this mess all right now back again to the pupils I think that her pupils uh, pupils are a bit too large so I'm going to make it smaller like so and the eyelids and now for the eyebrows now usually when it comes to eyebrows it the um, the, you know the first start of the eyebrow usually starts around here when you you know draw a straight line like this it usually starts around here again like I said before there are many kinds of eye shapes and even eyebrows there are many many kinds of eyebrows so when you want to draw eyebrows you first can uh, actually let me draw it first and then I will explain to you how to draw it So pay attention to the way the, the direction of the eyebrow hairs that I draw. So usually in this area right here, it, it is quite messy. It looks a bit like, you know, like that. It goes toward upwards and then uh, around from this area till the where it finally ends to the eyebrow tail, it has this direction where it's going kind of upwards but it's sliding towards the end like so like that and then where the tail starts it obviously goes down sliding down like so and do know that this is the kind of you know really neat version kind of eyebrow if you wanted a more natural eyebrow it actually has this kind of um this kind of direction it goes around like here and then it goes sliding upwards like so and then downwards right but there will also be some hair that will go downwards like this and this upward like so so it kind of makes that kind of um in a way it makes this kind of X looking it's not it's not really X but it's kind of like triangle kind of a uh, direction between the upper eyebrow hair part and the area where it is uh, towards the eyelids so again like I said this is up to you it is completely um, your own preference when it comes to this so it doesn't really matter but the point is just the you know the general basic idea of drawing eyebrow is like this and again this is still just the rough sketch of it oh and when it comes to where the eyebrow tail usually start is when you draw a straight line from around this area around um, from what I observe is usually from the edge of the pupil if you draw a straight line around this area usually that's where the tail of the eyebrow starts and it goes down and again 
how long or how thick the eyebrow you want to be you know just be creative you know because um if if you are especially drawing a fantasy character it is completely totally up to you it you know because you're not drawing something hyper hyper realistic so we can just copy and paste this and as always we flipped it horizontally this is okay because uh, i have not draw in any details yet all right so we just merge down the layer and fix in some of this really messy sketch all right and now what i really like to add is some eye bags know that you know from what i observe is that everyone naturally has eye bags it doesn't have to be that um obvious or that deep because um that is also kind of like uh, depends on your own style or your own preference but naturally people do have eye bags and especially this line over here that goes down like that like so so you you may as well you know uh, pay attention to when i draw eyes i don't just focus on one eye i keep changing from one part to the other one like what i uh, did before is that i first draw the the eyes and then the other eye and then the water line and then the other water line and so on and so on so the trick is that if you want to at least you know you don't have to make both eyes look perfect or perfectly symmetric because when you paint something symmetric is actually not perfect it will actually look really unnatural and stiff looking so you don't have to make everything look perfectly the same but don't focus literally focus only on one eyes and then you go to the other one because it will be really off and there's no balance in it and another uh, small tip uh, if you really want to draw the perfect eyebrow another small tip uh, is that let's say okay um let's say this is her nose right so usually in whatever uh eye static, i guess i guess that's how you call it uh, you know kind of eyebrows if you want it to be really perfect when you draw a line from the end of the nose and then to the end of the pupil and then you draw a straight line that is usually where the eyebrow starts to go to the eyebrow tail and then if you draw another line from the end of the nose to the end of the eye and then you draw a straight line that is usually where the eyebrow ends so that is just you know kind of like the aesthetically perfect or whatever you want to call it you know really neat eyebrow then you know <laughs> that is just a small you know tip right there but now let's just get back again to the eyes now when it comes to eyelashes don't ever draw eyelashes you know like like hair i mean even hair do, does not look like this that this is very very wrong it, it's it's you, you don't want your eyelashes to look like this you know so this is how i draw eyelashes remember the curve and pay attention to the shape of it it clumps it kind of clumps in together this might as well be too perfect actually <laughs> but the point in drawing when it comes to drawing or painting lashes is that don't make it too perfect um, or too you know like strands of hair but make it kind of messy at least now especially when it comes to the eyelashes on uh, on the on the bottom part usually the eyelashes around this area is really messy 
uh, it's it's not in any way perfect or neat but you can obviously you know make the eyelashes on this um upper lid looks neat so now let me explain to you about the direction of eyelashes so usually of course it curls like this <clears throat> sorry <laughs> So it curls upward like this and it goes toward there and of course up here and then it goes a bit over there and the same goes for the bottom one it goes curling downward and this one it goes a bit around here like so but drawing the eyelashes itself again like I said before do not draw it like this but instead try to draw it like triangles like it's it's a clump of triangle you know uh eyelashes like so it makes it look more natural and pretty and even even if it looks pretty it's not that perfect but it you know it's it's not stiff or in any way ugly like i mean I have never seen eyelashes that actually looks, you know, like that. <laughs> so just keep that in mind. Okay, now let me... Alright, so what I like to do now is to just trans uh, go to uh, image above the... Oh, I just realized that I did not record that part of my screen. So you can just go up on the menu and go to image image rotation and flip the whole canvas horizontally whenever you paint or draw something always remember to flip it horizontally that way you can see the mistakes that you did not notice earlier it, it is very important now when it comes to drawing eyelashes I highly recommend you to please do not copy paste and flip it horizontally for the next eyelashes you can definitely do that with eyebrows or eyelids but a no 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 when it comes to eyelashes because eyelashes do not look perfect and none of the eyelashes would look the same with the other one so it is best to just draw it yourself this time just like so it's okay if it doesn't look perfect the thing when it comes to drawing is that you have to you know in time you have to feel okay drawing something that is not perfect you know you just have to accept it that not everything is perfect and it's totally okay to paint that and now the bottom eyelashes and make it kind of messy like so and erase it to kind of you know make the edges more smooth at the very least like so how thick you want the eyelashes to be that is completely up to you um, again it, it really doesn't matter so I'm just going to name this eyelashes for the layer and let's go back to the sketch layer now if you think that this start of drawing is perfect enough for you to start painting it then that's totally fine but if you do want to practice more especially with um, drawing uh, a really line no, no sorry a really clean line art sketch then you can just uh, turn down the opacity of the layer and then add a new layer and this is where we will uh, redraw everything again so this is a great way to practice on doing clean line art sketch if you're into that if not, then you can just immediately start with your painting. Actually, I recommend you if you 
if your style is not, is more to realism or I mean semi realism or realism doesn't matter but if your style is more towards that and you don't you don't want it to be too perfect with the light art then don't spend too much time on making the lines too perfect because usually your sketch uh, I mean the finish the finished result, the finished painting will look different from the first sketch that you did. So you don't really want to, you know, spend your time too much on that. And now the, um, ah, uh, the eye bags. Again, on this part, it's okay for you to add just a bit of eye bag because it's pretty normal but how detailed or how much you want to put it there it is totally up to you it's it's okay or even if you don't want to add anything at all that is fine so like so so now uh, also another tip for the um the eyelids sometimes when you have really thick eyelids you can actually see a bit of like um, another you know like that layer of skin that overlaps like that that is if you have really thick um, really thick uh, I oh my gosh I saw the <laughs> eyelids yeah that's it if you have really thick eyelids then you can just add that um, but if you just want to leave it like before then you can so yeah this is it and now the eyebrows I also highly recommend especially if you are a beginner and if you want to really good uh, get good in portrait painting I highly recommend you to study from real portraits because there's no better way to study than to observe what it really looks like in reality so it doesn't matter you know even if your style is a uh, you know cartoon or anime kind of style or um, anything semi realism anything that is not that hyper realistic that is totally okay but if you are a beginner please do learn how things really look like in real life because in that way you uh, you can begin to um, after you observe how things supposed to work then you can tweak on your own and find your own style and know where to put you know things and where to do this or you know how to draw this and stuff like that instead of just draw but you don't really know how suppose how it's supposed to really look like you know so so it's okay don't feel don't ever feel bad if you need reference even if when you become a professional you might as well still not might as well you will always need reference so don't feel bad about not um, about using reference that's what I mean and now the pupils now I must admit that I do have a weakness in drawing um, pupils I I don't know why but I tend to draw really big pupils I mean I guess that's just my style I love drawing big eyes or big pupils but you don't have to if you don't want of course like so and I think you can add just a little bit more of kind of like a shadow here for the eyelashes or especially if you want to put some eyeliner on her or not also when it comes to um, you might as well already obviously <laughs> realize that I am drawing uh, female eyes because well normally people would uh, you know usually start to draw with female eyes because um, I think usually it has more detail to it but actually no in reality I have seen many um, 
some guys or male models that actually have prettier eyes than some girls and even more you know thick curly eyelashes so if you wonder if uh, I mean if you ever wonder how to draw female eyes or male eyes there is no set in stone rules or anything because it can be completely up to you and even in reality there's no such thing as which one is a more female or male eyes because they're just eyes it's it's the same it's just eyes it's just that people tend to portray female eyes something that is huge or big or uh, I don't know people like to call it kind of like a cherry eyes something like that and also really thick long curly eyelashes but I mean if you want to draw guy guys with that so what you know that's totally fine but I would like to give you some a bit of tip for uh, I mean if I personally want to draw uh, male eyes to to show something to like portray it more in a sharper kind of way more like you know sculpted looking kind of male eyes then I would usually just draw it more slim like this is not too round and it's really slim as you can see and usually I would add more you know of this kind of um, eye bag well, not, not really eye bag I guess kind of like I don't know what it's called around this part and the eyelids like that This is just a really rough sketch. And when it comes to the eyebrows, I obviously would uh, give him a more thicker eyebrows and more sharp, you know, eyebrows like that. Something like that, you know, I just, just wanna tell you. Oh, and usually what I also like to do is that the distance between his eye and the eyebrows would be a lot closer but again that this is totally up to to you or you know your preference so it doesn't matter so anyway we are finally done with our first eye and let me just merge this layer now the way you do the other eye is completely the same. I just want to quickly show you a quick tutorial, but yeah, it's completely the same with this with the other one. Uh, what I would also like to remind you again, just remember when you first draw the eye, don't focus only on one eye, just do it continuously, um, changing from the one part to the other part because it will help you save some time um, to you know finish everything instead of spending an hour or two hours fixing on things this is one of the mistake that I made when I was still a beginner back all those years ago is that I would focus too much only on one detail and then when I zoom everything out I see all these mistakes and especially especially when you go to image when you go to image and then you flip the canvas horizontally, everything just looks so messed up, so distorted and not in any way proportionally makes sense. So you don't want to waste your time on that. And again, since I already have a clean, uh, not a clean, since I already have the basic sketch and then the clean line art, it's, you know, it's okay for me to now proceed and painting it and again like I said before if you do want to do line art then you can definitely do this uh, do this step and then you turn off the the sketch below it but if you want to go further uh, right away to painting then this would actually do 
because all of these lines they're going to be gone anyway they're going to be finished when you paint and the, the finish the final result of the painting will look different either way so you don't have to worry too much about it so since the the main purpose of this tutorial is to give you some tips and advice on how to draw the eyes so th that is actually make it a lot easier for you to paint on later i'm not going to go into too much detail or explanation on how to paint eyes but i would like to give you some tips especially on painting the um, painting fantastic fantasy kind of eyes so i'm just going to pick a skin tone over here and I am just going to. Uh, I think that looks a bit. It would look a bit too stiff, actually. So I'm just going to pick pick this area. All right, and then with the paint bucket tool. All right, so when you want to block in colors for the eyes, do not ever choose white or even gray don't ever ever choose that because eyes are actually not completely white and not gray it has colors and especially remember that eyes are very glassy it is wet so it is glassy and that means it reflects colors around you <laughs> well it doesn't have to be every colors but it reflects colors especially on the pupil but usually from what I observe is that it has a kind of like a blue, a gray bluish kind of tone for the eyeball. Also remember that this kind of color, uh, color choice that I'm doing is the very basic color for, for when you paint in a natural lighting. If you have a really strong intense lighting, especially if that lighting has other colors than natural sunlight, then everything could be different. Even from for the for the color of her skin and everything, it could be completely different. Now for the waterline, I would go around here. So this is the waterline. And then I would go around here. It's not that red but it's not purple it's kind of like um magenta or maroon kind of color i suppose and usually the area of the eyeball around this area around the edges it kind of has that red kind of tint to it and it can be a bit warmer this kind of red kind of warmer kind of red you can add those like so and then of course there would be a really highlighted color around here on the waterline like so and then sometimes also notice that I never completely pick the white, uh, really completely white color because that would be just too much. And then sometimes I like to add a bit of highlight here around the edge between the eyeball and the waterline, like so. And then for the eyes, I always like to start with the darkest color possible. Oops. <laughs> uh, I do it. I did it on the wrong layer. Actually, let me save it just to be sure. All right. So I always like to start with the darkest color, so it's easier for me to put in the colors later on. And then I don't know whatever color that you choose. Let's say a dark green, like so. Now when it comes to the highlight of the pupil, it is 
it is completely up to you what kind of shape you can even make a star you can even like make a star or heart shape or whatever uh, especially if it is a fantasy character but usually I would just go with this kind of uh, shape a little bit like that and to add a more glassy kind of effect for the eyeball sometimes I like to draw a line like that I think that's a bit too much like so like that and then I soft it soft it up with <laughs> with the eraser tool like so so that's what I like to do now when it comes to which one Okay, so when it comes to the detail of the pupil itself, um, what I mean is the irises of the eye. If you do like that semi-realism or cartoony kind of style for the eyes, this is enough. This is okay. But if you want to go further, you can of course just add in some, some lines like so. Something like that. I mean, this is really messy. I mean, I always go further than this but i just want to quickly show you what you can do with this so yeah you can just add that and sometimes i would um like to pick uh, a more a lighter glowing kind of color for the for the highlights of the irises like here just to add some more dimensions and to play more around with colors just a quick note um, a tip as another tip as well is that whenever you pick colors for for painting is that it is always best to remember to balance between cold colors and warm colors if you have too many warm colors on one painting it will look really off and it's just you know nah, you know it is doesn't look good so I guess that's pretty much it and let me just merge this the, down the layer and uh, of course don't forget to add um, add shadows shadows around here because remember there is always depth of the eyeball the eyeball is not flat the eyeball has its own shape it's uh, it's round of course it's a circle it's round and it's 3d so you have to keep in mind of that not to make it flat and to add some some shadows oops I think I didn't use much just a little bit too much just something like that just a quick um, example and if you also want to get even more detailed you can add a really soft kind of color for the veins on the eyes something something like that I mean you don't have to but if you want then that's okay It's a bit too dark. It's a bit too grayish as well. But yeah, this is just a quick example, and that is pretty much it. And also, um, yeah, I think that's it. Actually, I want to duplicate this la layer for later. Look how ugly that looks like without line art. <laughs> it just would like to remind you the power of line art. Don't underestimate it. <laughs> so, oh yeah. So whenever I am sure of all the colors that I want, I would like to lock down the um, the line art uh, layer sketch, the line art sketch layer, and I like to fill it in with the colors with the colors of each area of what I need to okay so I need to make it darker like so like that just like that it's not it's not hard really I mean 
if you keep on practicing, it's not. Like that, just like that. And a bit of a dark brownish color for the flesh part. Something like that. Okay. Alright, so last but not least, I would also like to share with you some tips on where to add highlights on eyes. Again, remember this is very flat, natural sunlight kind of uh, uh, lighting um, for this. <clears throat> Sorry. So, so yeah, you don't have to, um, you, you don't have to follow this exactly the same because when it comes to highlights or shadows, lighting, whatever, it could completely change depending on the contrast of the light, the angle of the portrait, and everything. So just a quick add, when it comes to highlight, usually this, this area right here is usually really bright around here. And then on the center of the eyelids around here, softly around this area and up towards the cheekbone over here. Like so. And then of course, below the arch of the eyebrow, the, the, the bone around here to further give more, you know, that uh, contour a bit around here as well and just a little bit around this so that is where you usually would put in some highlights and that is pretty much what I would like to share with you so I really hope that this is helpful and um, it could you know really help you with with your drawing and your basic understanding of eyes and of course the painting itself and if you are interested to know more especially if you are a complete beginner if you want to really get serious in to really begin digital art painting i made a complete tutorial that i sell on my gumroad um, on my gumroad.com slash amorinet all description of my art blocks and also my art tutorial is down below in the description so if you want to learn a really complete tutorial from start to finish about colors about uh, i mean the color theory about how to paint skin how to paint a portrait how to know about lighting shadows and so on you can just check that out and yeah i really hope that you enjoy like this and please comment subscribe for more follow out my other other art blocks as well and i will see you soon